Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the Strength and Maintenance Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Ferguson, Sergeant Major Ferrara, welcome to the promotion ceremony for Specialist Rhett Crandall. Special welcome to Rhett's father, Richard Crandall, who's present today from Utah. The United States Army NCO Corps has evolved greatly in the more than two centuries of its existence. It is a uniquely American institution, both a product of a European military tradition and the Afri or American frontier. During the American Revolution, Baron von Steuben trained selected Continental troops to drill, lead, and most importantly, to teach others, thereby laying the foundation for the modern NCO Corps. Every soldier has a sergeant, and every soldier deserves a leader who is a capable trainer, is trustworthy, is genuinely concerned for their health and welfare, and develops them to be the leaders of tomorrow. The soldier's creed and the warrior ethos are compelling obligations we expect our soldiers to live by. Likewise, we expect our leaders to live by those obligations, those of the NCO creed and the charge of the NCO. Special Crandall, post. Oh, bow. Charge to the newly promoted non-commissioned officer. I will discharge carefully and diligently the duties of the grade to which I have been promoted and uphold the traditions and standards of the U.S. Army. I understand that soldiers of lesser rank are required to obey my lawful orders. Accordingly, I accept responsibility for their actions. As a non-commissioned officer, I accept the charge to observe and follow the orders and directions given by my supervisors acting in according to laws, articles, and rules governing the discipline of the Army. I will correct conditions detrimental to the readiness thereof. In so doing, I will fulfill my greatest obligation as a leader and thereby confirm my status as a non-commissioned officer. Good morning. Good morning, Sergeant Major. Major. Welcome, welcome uh, the family, friends, members of PEC. And uh, you know, on this joyous occasion, as uh, we get to promote Specialist Crandall to Sergeant, uh, it's always a, uh, a privilege when you get to promote anyone. But uh, specifically for myself, uh, working with Specialist Crandall here for the uh, past, oh, what's it been, about a year now? Yes, sir. Man. Okay. Uh, just about a year, uh, there's some things that are unique about uh, Specialist Crandall. His uh, go-getter attitude, his can-do attitude, the things that, that he does, when, when nobody's looking, when nobody's asking. He models the qualities of an NCO. Those type things, as I've referred to in some of our other gatherings, where we find him assisting at the academy for a graduation, dressed out in his AGSUs when he didn't have to be. When I found him helping to administer the ACFT early in those cold mornings, when we're all trying to find a little heater to stay warm, He's out there with us supporting our events. He has been everywhere that we've asked him to be and even in places that we didn't ask him to be because he sought those opportunities that we look for in an NCO. We don't have to worry when it comes time to ask for, for support because Specialist Crandall is there. He's taken that opportunity. He's led from the front. There's never been, been a time that uh, uh, you know, we had to question uh, his intent. Um, he's just been there, and and I really appreciate that. And again, for me, uh, from the SAR Major for the battalion, uh, it, it means a lot to be able to uh, share this with you. Your dad came down. It's extremely important. And on behalf of the battalion and PEC leadership, I just want to uh, congratulate you and uh, wish you well. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Cool. Appreciate that. I spent, as some of you guys know, I spent the first 11 years of my career in NCO ranks and being enlisted, and I, I took a great amount of pride in that. Uh, it was impressed upon me the importance of being an NCO and the importance that you played in the organization, and that part is pretty, pretty significant in how you support your senior leadership within the Army itself and in the Army National Guard. Rest assured, there is no officer coming close to accomplishing their mission without you. It's what makes the United States Army so great in the Army National Guard is our NCO ranks because you guys are well educated, you're motivated, and you're dedicated to the mission. Now, nowhere, no country matches that. So take pride in who you are. 
And I tell you, brother, you have done a phenomenal job representing the attributes to the non-commissioned officer community. You make me feel so proud to be part of it and to work alongside of you. So I absolutely congratulate you and welcome you to the ranks of the non-commissioned officer community, man. Attention to orders. The Secretary of the Army has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and professional excellence of Crandall, Brett D. In view of these qualities and his demonstrated leadership abilities and dedicated service to the United States Army, he is therefore promoted from specialist to sergeant. Effective 28 December 2023 with the date of rank 28 December 2023. <clears throat> by authority of the Department of the Army, by order of the Secretary of the Army, signed Brigadier General Daniel Boyett, Adjutant General, Utah Army National Guard. The NCO Creed! The NCO Creed! No one is more professional than I. I am a non-commissioned officer, a leader of soldiers. As a non-commissioned officer, I have realized that I am a member of a time honor corps, which is known as the backbone of the Army. I am proud of the Corps of Non-Commissioned Officers and will at all times conduct myself so as to bring credit upon the Corps, the military service, and my country, regardless of the situation in which I find myself. I will not use my grade or position to attain pleasure, profit, or personal safety. Competence is my watchword. My two basic responsibilities will always be uppermost in my mind. Accomplishment of my mission and the welfare of my soldiers. I will strive to remain technically and tactically proficient. I am aware of my role as a non-commissioned officer. I will fulfill my responsibilities inherent in that role. All, so all soldiers are entitled to outstanding leadership. I will provide that leadership. I know my soldiers and I will always place their needs above my own. I will communicate consistently with my soldiers and never leave them uninformed. I will be fair and impartial when recommending both rewards and punishment. Officers of my unit will have maximum time to accomplish their duties. They will not have to accomplish mine. I will earn their respect and confidence as well as that of my soldiers. I will be loyal to those with whom I serve, seniors, peers, and subordinates alike. I will exercise initiative by taking appropriate action in the absence of orders. I will not compromise my integrity nor my moral courage. I will not forget, nor will I allow my comrades to forget, that we are professionals, non-commissioned officers, leaders! Oh. Oh. At this time, Sergeant Crandall is going to come over to this table with Sergeant Major Ferrara so they can sign the charge of the NCO and the NCO 3. 